to fill. But I hope by Monday you will receive them. Thank you. Yay. Sir Wisdom Dogbe, thumbs up to you. You say I'm the head teacher, JK Ahoy Memorial. Thumbs up to you. Hooray. Good to have you on it. I hope your teachers too came on. Indeed, I've seen that uh, somebody is asking about uh, data. We have addressed it, please. Um, yeah, Botre. Yeah, Laja Agbemo. You are from Biakoye, and you you are saying that I think our main focus should be on fidelity of implementation. Regular monitoring of the program should be paramount on our agenda for a survivor. Thank you. Yes, indeed, that is the way forward from now. There will be regular monitoring to check on you. But without monitoring, you should be doing your best to keep what is expected of you. All instructions giving you materials provided make sure you do you implement it with fidelity you don't have to wait for monitoring before you do what is expected of you thank you very much huawei y7p says please are we going to be giving new forms to begin the whole process again or we are going to use the old forms that was given to us last year i mean the monitoring tools indeed if you have not used them you can use them but if you have you still have them to print or you are getting new ones because you can't use the old ones. It's very obvious. And so you can print from Monday. You print it, don't worry. And then wait for others that are coming on to your schools. Then we have, uh, please say, that is Christopher Pierre. I want to know if the participating schools will enjoy the incentives which the Gallup schools enjoyed. Uh, for now, I wish to say that no Gallup school has uh, enjoyed anything. In fact, Gallup school has not even started, but you are starting. So one of the incentive is this webinar. You have CPD points coming up for you too. We are still working on it and we are uploading. So we have a lot of incentives coming for you. Okay. When are we... And when are we going to start DL implementation? Oh, I believe you joined us late. We said that on Monday, the 16th okay. of May, you are starting with assessment and grouping. And then implementation of the intervention in the classroom begins on the 30th of May. So these are the timelines you have. Okay, so Rubin says, thanks for the refresher. My suggestion is that in our next webinar, at least five learners should be brought on stage for practicals. Okay, we shall think of it. The theory is enough for now. Thank you. And so we also say thank you. Um, uh, yes. Um, it is well noted. Some videos have been recorded of the content delivery and the assessment processes. So these will be dispatched to you in your school. Some will be on YouTube and other social media channels where you can get access to them. Okay. So because of network, you couldn't join. We will still send you the videos so that you can interact with them. Stella says that, please. Please, my question is, in our first DL workshop, we we're told that you are going to supply us with hard copy materials we will use to teach DL lessons. But up to now, we've not received these materials. Will these materials be still given to us or not? Yes, the materials have been described from Accra and they are on their way to your various districts. So definitely you are going to receive the materials for the implementation of in your various schools. Momuni, 
I wish to say this. It says that if the assessment is done and the external monitors do not come, who is responsible to submit it to the appropriate place to justify that an assessment was done? When we went out for the spot check, we noticed that most of you, after assessment, sent your documents to the office. What for? Now, you notice that when we came to your schools, you didn't have evidence to show that you had done the work. You must file your documents, if possible. When you give them out to the focal persons to send to the district office, keep copies of them in a file. At least, that is to show what you have done. So please, when you have done the assessment, we shall come for monitoring, yes, but file your documents. The head teacher is supposed to be the custodian of all these documents, not the focal person, not the district director, not the CISO. So Plastic. you, yes. When you finish, you give your learning progress sheet to your head teacher. Yes. And your head teacher captures the data and your learning progress sheet for class on the learning progress sheet for school and then keep both sheets for record sheet and when we come round it is him that is asked for all these records you may be having the that of the attendance for class but at the end of every week it is expected that you send attendance sheet for class to your head teacher for him also to record it on the attendance sheet for school and then it is given back to you on Monday to continue marking attendance in your classroom. Yes, Master. Master, yes, you will get the recorded version indeed. You will get it. And then Abubakari, again, with a staff of four teachers and the head teacher. How do you suggest the program is rolled out, especially the lesson delivery? In fact, we have addressed the GES is seen to it. You will get some more teachers in your schools. Okay, Michael. And also. And Michael, and also, are we going to get any allowance for our data use? If yes, when? And then. Yes. Yeah. Michael. Yeah, this is capacity building. Okay. This is the capacity building. So it is to build your own capacity. And I don't think um, anyone is going to provide you with data. But the knowledge that you have acquired is more than the data. The cost of the data has been used over here. You notice and realize that people from other places have sponsored this project. So what we are doing here is being paid for by somebody to build your capacity to support learning in the classroom. So the data you are using no, man, so, yeah. and your control towards improving learning in the school. Thank you, Papa Eric. And uh, Sedu, are we going to get videos of the program? Yes, sure, you will. I think I bypassed the Aokan, Ghana. Good afternoon to all the presenters. We salute you, sir. I salute you for making the presentation friendly, lively, relatable, play-based, and enjoyable. And those are our uh, characteristics. Technically, we're challenged with network issues here and there. However, it has been great to be part of this work. Thank you, too. And uh, I'm a Please, last time we started the implementation of the DZL in our school, but with challenges due to lack of inadequate materials such as guides and forms. Is it going to be the same this time too? This term is different. As of earlier said, the materials are on the way to your various districts for onward transmission to your school. So it will not be the same like last term. Thank you, Mr. Emmanuel Yabua. Yes, the link will be posted again. Do well to register. Thank you so much. Kennedy. Kennedy says, good intention, but there should be incentives attached. To you will get them. You start. The incentive will catch up with you. It is like the kingdom of God. <laughs> eh? Seek it first. I mean, preach, Kakra. 
take it first and then others will follow. Can I give you the mic? Yeah. Yakubu uh, Sule, the message is passed, but I think it's very important. Yakubu Sule wants to know, he says that during the first time they were made to assess the learners and that what is going to happen to that data. Please note that first term data is not usable as it were in second term. That is why you are supposed to assess the learners at the beginning of each term to have get a standing of the learners as of that time. So it may be for reference for comparative analysis, but for usability, there needs to be a reassessment of the learners at the beginning of this term. Get the data for this term and use that data for the grouping of the learners this term. Thank you. Yeah, Makini, please, when are we starting the assessment and grouping of pupils? 16 May, as I said earlier on, Monday, we are starting assessment and grouping. They grabbed Woben, Joben. Gallup schools have received base grants and per capita for the running of the intervention. What of the deal? I'm sorry, it's not true. Don't give us wrong information. It is never true that there's any Gallup school. Gallup itself has not taken off. How did they get anything? Don't give us wrong information, please. Mm -hmm. There's a question by Omusu that I want to answer. Mm -hmm. Go back. Also, yeah. Also, Anthony says, please, we have the groupings already. Are we to group the learners again? Also, when did you do the groupings this term? Mm -hmm. For this term, you are to assess the learners again before grouping them. We are not falling on the groupings you did last term. This term, we are doing assessment again. And it begins from Monday, 16th of May to 22nd May 2022. Sorry. Okay. okay. Please, when are we starting assessment? It has just been said. Good afternoon. Okay, that one has also come to pass. Yeah, Are we going to get? Yes, you will get. Are we get going to get videos? Yes, you will get them. We are here. Emmanuel. I think we are here. Yeah, we've spoken about all this. Okay. When are we starting? We have said it. Next week, Monday. Uh huh. Suggest so we get all the slides. Yamua. Yes. Kennedy Yamua is asking of incentives. Yes, there are a lot of incentives. One, you have graded yourself. You are, you are going to improve upon your teaching and learning. Then also, there is CPD point in the pipeline. Very soon, it will come. And I, when I tell you the number of points, that you're going to get for this, okay. you will take it serious. So please, take it serious. You are going to get a huge number of points from this thing. Mm -hmm. Then, Mujib, good evening, madam. During the assessment for Form 1A, Form 1A was not enough, so we printed extra with our own money. Will there be any refund? Resource. In fact, it's a resourceful element for you as a teacher. You will be going for promotions, etc. These are some of the evidence of your work output. However, when the time comes, you will get a refund. Emmanuel Donko, please, can you send video links to the platform for some of we, the CISO? Of us. The CISOs, not we, the CISO. I was on monitoring. Foundation okay. skills. Uh, so we need foundational skills here. 
I'm correcting our language bit by bit because this is on national platforms and it has to be addressed. Adam says, can one hold their lesson in the weekend? The question that comes to this is, do you attend school sessions on weekend? If school sessions are not on weekend, DL cannot be implemented on weekend because it is better that DL is implemented in schools. And schools are from Monday to Friday. However, if they hold their school weekend, he could teach it. However, you get your learners to improve, it's in your hands. So I think that you can also do weekend teaching and apply DL. But however, we don't want teachers to go and ship the DL to Saturday and go and say extra classes. So, Please make sure try as much as possible to implement DL during school hours. And on that note, I think that we want to appreciate your joining this webinar. Thank you so much. We salute you. We are very much grateful that you make time, spend your resources to this good intention. You are the most important person in Ghana here. If we want to count the important persons, you are the first because you are thinking about the children of Ghana. God bless you so much. We hope to visit all of you in your schools, interact better with you, and answer some more of your questions. However, don't take this exercise uh, on any platter. Take it on a platter of gold. Enjoy it, and you will become the best teacher of your time. It has been the content developers, Kukwa, Eric, and Pastor Bernard. Pastor Bernard is coming to join me here. Differentiated learning is just for you. Thank you, and bye-bye.